How's it going guys? This is Jess with Jetty MSG coming at you with a video for the first time in forever. Sorry I've been so quiet. As some of you may know I just moved so that's why I've been quiet. It's been about mm, I think a month, month and a half since I've done a proper video. But in that silence I somehow got went from 44 some odd subscribers to over 100. So that's pretty fucking awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you for the support. I never thought I'd even reach 10, let alone 100. Um, so yeah, in devotion to you guys, I figured I'd do a setup video, show you how I run my shit, and how I get my videos to you. So outside of these shitty iPhone camera videos, I record everything manually and edit manually. So, on to the business end. Here we go. This starts with here, with a pant Liz Butters putting on, I believe, a condom. Anyways, this is not what the video is about. So, starts here. This is a Vizio 42 inch TV, 3D TV. I know some of you guys are laughing your ass off at the size, but you know what? For this TV, I came from a 24 inch, so I'm pretty happy with 42 inch. Eventually gonna upgrade down the line, like to get a dual view. Uh, I think that would, I think that'd be pretty fucking awesome for my needs. Moving on. Oh, gaming consoles. What do I got? I have an Xbox 360. Well, I don't have an Xbox 360. Um, I bought I bought it for my girlfriend. It's my girlfriend's uh, Xbox 360. We live together. Uh, but I've had many of these in my time. I, the last one I had, I traded in during the PS4 E3 conference just because I said I was done supporting Microsoft. But luckily since then, they've corrected everything that pissed me off about them. So I am more than happy to support them again. And I will be getting an Xbox One uh, in the near future. So I look forward to that. Uh, that is a PS3 stacked on top of a PS4. You guys know what these are, you know what they do. Over to the left here, we got a dusty Apple TV. Um, I like it. it. It's not perfect, but it works. I plan on doing a full-scale uh, WRC Plus review, uh, at least an app review, and I'll be doing it through the Apple TV. And on to my other HDMI devices, I have the cable box. It's just Comcast. At this point, it's only 1080i. I didn't know that, but this is the first cable box I've ever had. Uh, it's always been someone else's cable, so it's nice to have my own fucking cable with my own fucking DVR and all that stuff. Um, and below that, we got an outdated sound receiver. It's got two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output. Uh, I, all I know is it does uncompressed um, audio. I used to know everything about the sound formats, but I just, just stopped giving a shit ever since I stopped working at a movie theater. Um, so yeah. It does pretty decently. I eventually want to get a new one. And all these HDMI devices plug, so the 360, PS3, PS4, Apple TV, cable box, all go into this little box. This is an HDMI auto switcher, get more focus on that. Uh, this thing's a lifesaver if you have limited inputs. Um, and I'll show you why I like it. So right now I'm on the TV, no remote in my hand. You're gonna watch my hand go from the TV to the 360 and I'm gonna push it. It automatically switches. Obviously, the iPhone's in my other hand, so I did not switch inputs. Let's just give it my TV's a little. There we go. See, it automatically switches. It's a lifesaver. So if you have limited inputs, I highly recommend getting one of these. If you guys have any questions at all about uh, the equipment I have, what it is, where to buy it, just drop it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you out. So all my HDMI devices come through here. This has one output. It goes into an HDMI splitter. Um, just to get rid of all the HDCP crap. So all this stuff, including my cable box and the Apple TV and Blu-rays, movies, DVDs, everything I could record onto my laptop if I really wanted to, which is nice. I like that. So the one output from here goes into an HDMI switcher. I have no idea. It's buried in there somewhere. I'd show it to you guys. It goes into an HDMI switcher. One output goes to here. The other will go to my Elgato Game Capture HD. Yes, there is a new one out. It's the HD60 or whatever. Um, this was actually shipping to me when they released it. It actually pissed me off, but then I realized uh, the HD60 is not suitable for my purposes. Um, the only thing real different about the new one is it records in 60 frames per second, which I just do YouTube. Yeah, I don't really care too much. It's locked at 30 frames per second, and I don't really care. You guys can settle for the 30 frames per second on YouTube. I don't really care. Um, yeah, so one of the outputs goes to the Elgato, one of them goes to the receiver, receiver goes to the TV. So I got one input for the TV. And of course I got the right speaker, center speaker, and the left speaker. I'd like to eventually get the sound bar. I got the surround right. 
And this round left, I bet you want a ceiling mount those and my big blank ceiling get rid of the fucking wires on the ground. And that down there is my powered subwoofer. Try to keep it down low because I live in a middle unit apartment. Don't want to drive the neighbors crazy. Um, so the Elgato is missing a piece of equipment. So obviously it captures to this cord or there's nothing on the other end of that cord. So what do I do? That's where my final piece of equipment comes in. It's my laptop. Just kidding, that's not mine. This one is. <laughs> it's actually my girl's old laptop. Um, this is an Asus gaming laptop. Um, it can pretty much, I don't know shit about computers to be honest with you, but all I know is it can game pretty much any last gen game pretty decently. It's got terabyte memory. I'm not shitting on memory. Um, storage. You got two terabytes external. Obviously I got some cheap video editing software. So I just hook up the laptop to my home theater, capture, edit, upload. It's that simple. So thank you guys for all your support. Very happy to have 100 subscribers. Plan to, hopefully I get more. I never thought I'd get more than 10. So it's nice to know there's a lot of people who like my videos. So there's more videos coming. I just need to find the time to make them. Swear to God they're coming. Swear to God. But until then, this is Jess with JDMSG. Thank you, all the 100 of you are in support of my channel. I'll catch you guys later.